Welcome back. We've all heard that good fats or omega-3 fats from foods like salmon are good for your brain. But you've also probably heard that you should stay away from farmed fish. If this confuses you, you're not alone. Owner of Native Sun, Aaron Gottlieb, is here. He's gonna, we're in the Native Sun kitchen. We're going to explain this. But uh, we got a lot of questions after last week when Eric came on and we did a salmon recipe that used farm-raised salmon. Right. And so people are like, wait a minute. Native Sun, farm-raised fish. What a, we want to dive into that a little bit more. Absolutely. Well, first off, I understand when you watch the news and everything is black and white and it's yeah. either eat farm raised or don't or eat wild or don't, you don't know which way to go. Uh, but in this case that if you know a little bit more, you can buy smart either way. You could buy uh, fish that were, sounds like it's wild and it could be from a heavily polluted waters and you could also buy from a farm that sounds like it's doing the right thing but you didn't know how which questions to ask. So hopefully today I'll help to demystify it for both of us. All right, well then let's, uh, let's go with the basic first question. What's the difference between farm wild and farm salmon? Okay, obviously wild comes from the wild. Yep. So these are fish that are swimming around on their own free will. They're uh, multiplying and they're doing their natural. In the case of salmon, they're being birds in a river, swimming out to the ocean and uh, into life, swimming back to the river. Right. Uh, farmed is kept in pens. And usually when you think of them, you think of indoor pens, but a lot of the cool farmed salmons that are more sustainable are out in the wild. So you'll find in the ocean, these big nets. Which is good because some fish, you know, some fish that are farmed in ponds, like dug out ponds in the middle of a landlocked area yeah. in Indonesia or somewhere else. Yeah, like tilapia. It's right. a lot of bad press. For yeah. It. So why even farm fish? Well, it's cheaper. At the end of the day, if you can control all the inputs, if you could feed them cheaper foods like, like grains or waste product, if you can control their environment and then deal with things like uh, cancers and, and lice and things like that, that sea lice that what these animals get, it's less expensive to do it in a pen than to deal with the uh, wild and not knowing how much fish you're going to actually be able to harvest. Um, so that's why people started it. Well, you always talk about Native Sun, you know, says that we, we make sure we monitor everything, where the food comes from. And you guys, I think, had shied away from farmed fish for the longest time, it. correct? Yeah, I banned it for two years. Uh, once I found out the problems with farmed salmon, and in specific the foods they eat and the chemicals that they use in the farming practices, we, we decided to ban it. Uh, in the end, it helped me learn about a brand called Clean Fish Alliance. And they help rebuild fishing populations where they were decimated and teach them how to farm where they have no fish and how to, farm, I mean, how to fish sustainably where the populations are going down. So crazy, but uh, they're, they're actually treating fish like they should be. So is this uh, clean, clean Fish Alliance, is this just one group doing this and monitoring the whole farm fishing community? That, is this under Clean Fish Alliance, that's correct. So there's a bunch of people doing it all over the world that have different fisheries, and they have to prove their sustainability to Clean Fish Alliance in order to get the seal. And so in the case of here, we have locked door salmon, which you'll find at restaurants like Moxie, and this is what we use at Native Sun as well. Which one's the locked door? Um, it's the beautiful the big, large one, one. Okay. Uh, and just so you know I mean this other one's a beautiful piece of wild salmon and just I thought it would be important so you see the differences and what you can see is obviously there's a color difference sure and then you see the the fat lines that you see in both the salmon they're almost non-existent in right. the wild but they're very heavy in the farmed and those um, are the same breed of salmon actually in this case it's not okay. but th that doesn't hurt the explanation here is what happens is this is a wild coho so mm -hmm. there's light uh, tight fat which means it's going to be drier. Uh, it does have high omega-3 fats, but a lot of people think that it's have a he heavy fishy taste. Okay. This is more like king salmon, which is a fattier fish and why you see the rings, but also because they're in pins and they tend to get a little bit fattier. Sure. Uh, why do we support it here on farm fish? Because this being um, a farm that uses fish to feed fish, their fats are omega-3. And if they were fed grains, they would actually cause inflammation. That's why you hear bad uh, things associated with farm salmon. Ah, and uh, is it also true that the, these, these salmon, are, the farm is actually in the ocean with nets? Yes, and so one of the things with the nets is, is if you just do these nets in the ocean, they still can create toxicity by the nitrogen all over the net. So when fish poop, it gets collected on the sure. net, and then it makes other fish sick that are living in there. By, take, by Clean Fish Alliance standards, they take these nets out from under, they double net, the pens and take the outer net off and clean it on land in order to not contaminate the salmon that they're growing or other fish in the population. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. pretty awesome. What about price? Price, it's right in the middle. So if you go wild, salmon's too expensive. Farm is inexpensive, but not healthy. This is a little more expensive than farm salmon, but less expensive than wild. So it's affordable. Um, and as well as you can uh, go home not worrying about what you've done to your body by not knowing what the fish actually ate. All good stuff. We covered a bunch of it here. Mention again, you said if you're going out to eat some places that use it. Oh, Moxie, 
outstanding. They always have been using it. I know that uh, Orsay and um, um, Black Sheep also like to use high-quality salmon like Lock Door. Good stuff. Good stuff. Always learning stuff in the Native Sun Kitchen. Appreciate you and Native Sun for being here and sharing this information again. Stop by one of their stores to shop Clean Fish Alliance certified seafood. Remember, they have locations in Bay Meadows, Mandarin, and Jacks Beach, or check out their website, which is nativesunjacks.com.